Before we dive into this week's video, let's thank the sponsor of this episode, Skillshare, an online learning community that gathers creative people across 150 countries and offers thousands of inspiring online classes on multiple topics from drawing and photography to business and marketing. And you know, even though I mostly think about spending an evening with a new Skillshare class is about a very relaxing experience, first of all, some sort of art therapy, I should admit that many of these classes can be very much life-changing. So today I've decided to share with you the top three of life-changing classes on Skillshare based on my experience. First of all, it's a class called Intro to Procreate, illustrating on the iPad by Brooke Glaser. And it was one of my first classes on the platform when I just bought an iPad a couple of years ago and I decided to learn Procreate. And you know, it really changed my drawing routine because Procreate has all the tools you need as an artist and you can literally draw in bed on your iPad and the result will look super professional, the same like in Photoshop. Nowadays, I make all my thumbnails just in Procreate every single week. I sketch and draw only in Procreate, thanks to the Brooks class. And I also finished her class on animation and Procreate, and it's also a good one, so highly recommended to anyone with an iPad. The second life-changing class is from my favorite YouTuber, Bernadette Banner. It's called Hand Sewing Basics, Work Wonders with Fabric, Needle and Thread. And it teaches you exactly what it says in the title. This class will turn you from a person who doesn't know how to hold the needle into a person who knows how to sew. And this is really one of the most life-changing skills that you can obtain in general, like in life. So stop gluing fabric pieces together with a glue gun. Better go and watch the Bernadette's class and learn how to sew. And the last class that I find very important is the one from our beloved Jonathan Van Ness and it's called the Ultimate Self-Care Playbook Discover and Nurture Your Centered Self. I started following it mostly because I simply like Jonathan, but actually it was a very, very, very helpful experience because being a self-employed, I often overwork and I simply forget to take time for myself and to rest. And even if I do, I might feel like I'm just wasting my time while I could work some more. And Jonathan really helped me to concentrate on self-care and on relaxation, not on just working and planning, so it was very, very helpful for me. So that was my top three for today. All Skillshare classes are ad-free, new premium classes launched every week, also, the entire catalog of classes is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese and German, so it's really easy to follow for people all over the world. And if you're curious about Skillshare and if you want to give it a try, you have a unique opportunity to explore the Skillshare class library completely for free, because the first thousand people to use the link in the description box under this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So go there, check it out, and I'm quite sure you you're gonna like it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! If you remember guys, a couple of months ago for Halloween I've made the first of the Sanderson sisters, I've made Winifred Sanderson from the Hocus Pocus movie and I ask you then if I should wait till the next year Halloween with the next sister and many of you replied that no, you shouldn't wait, you should make the second sister kinda right now or whenever you want. So here we are, I think today I'm finally ready to make the second sister, I think it's kinda a good plan, now we're going to make the second one and then somewhere around maybe the end of September, October, closer to Halloween, we are going to make the third sister and then around Halloween we are going to get like the final picture with all of these three sisters photoshopped together. So sounds like a good plan to me because I don't really want to make two sisters in a row before the Halloween like I would love to make different kinds of projects. So, and today we're going to make the second sister and I've decided to go for Sarah Sanderson, played by Sarah Jessica Parker. She's the youngest of the three sisters and she's some character. <laughs> she's very funny, I think, because she's very flirtatious, but at the same time she has a very 
dark sense of humor and sense of flair, so she's very funny. Uh, my mom is going to help me today with the outfit. I'm super happy because it's been a while since she helped me with doll dresses. Uh, she's normally very, very good in it. She's created the outfit for the first uh, Sanderson sister, so now she's busy with the second one, and she's also going to create the outfit for the third sister somewhere yeah, in the fall. So this is it probably, this was the intro, this is everything what I wanted to say. Of course don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified, uh, support my art here on YouTube with your likes, and also please don't forget to participate in my 600,000 followers uh, giveaway contest collaboration, I still don't know how to call it. Uh, the entries are still open till the 1st of March. So. I still have a little bit of time to work on it. Yeah, this is it, and now let's start working. So, this is the doll that I've picked up for this makeover. She has a little bit kind of longer face, so I think she will be the right choice to represent Sarah Jessica Parker in a doll form. So, now let's start, like always, with undressing her, and then I will cut off her hair as short as I can. also a part of my regular routine. I am warming up the doll's head with a hair dryer to make it soft and easily removable. Then I'm removing her face with pure acetone. Sarah has blonde hair, so I'm going to give my doll blonde hair as well. And for this I will use my self-made rerouting tool, made out of an X-Acto knife with an embroidery needle with a loop cut open inserted instead of the blade. <laughs> the description of it sounds much more complicated than it is. A couple of hours later her hair looks pretty finished, so I can add tacky glue inside of the head and then I will wait for a day to let this glue dry. There is a little bit of yellow staining on her forehead, but I think I can hide it easily with soft pastels, without using acrylic paint. 
So now I'm going to seal her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this we'll start working on her face and first of all I'm going to work on her skin tone. So the yellow is completely gone and now I can sketch the eyes, the lips, the eyebrows and after this I will start applying shadows. Sarah has very dark smoky eyes makeup, very light blue eyes and dark red lipstick. So these are my makeup goals for today. Now I still need to add white reflections to her eyes and a black mold to her chin using acrylic paint. So after the face is finished I'm going to work on her body because you can clearly see the color difference and first of all I'm going to sand her body using the nail buffers. Then I'm going to paint her arms and legs with white acrylics because they're made out of see-through plastic. So and after this I can seal the body and cover it with soft pastels.
Okay, the face and the body look like parts of the same person. Very good. So now it's probably time to take a look at my mom's work. How is she doing there with Sarah's outfit? And she starts with the skirt. So let's take a look at the original outfit at the same time. And you can see that Sarah's skirt exists out of multiple layers. There is a green layer, a purple layer on top of it. There is some red fabric on front in the middle. This is exactly what my mom is trying to recreate right now. Then Sarah wears a corset with the see-through sleeves. For her night adventures, she puts a hooded cape on. Here it is, completely finished, arrived to my studio, the adorable top with all the embroidery and the see-through sleeves, super pretty. Here is the skirt with all the layers. Here is also adorable underwear and some socks that will go under the skirt. And here is the cape, really super pretty, this fabric is absolutely gorgeous. So now I need to complete this gorgeous outfit with at least half as gorgeous accessories and I'm going to start with her shoes. Sarah wears these boots, you can see them now on the pictures, so let's recreate them out of Warbler Thermoplastic. I'm warming the thermoplastic up with a hair dryer, it becomes super soft and sticky so I can form different designs out of it and then it cools down and becomes hard as a regular plastic again.
The heels I'm making out of pieces of barbecue sticks. And then I'm painting it all with acrylics. are finished check it out i don't know they look really cute quite similar to what is seen in the movie i don't know they will also look very good with the outfit so i think we're done here and now let's make a broomstick she used for flying in the movie if you remember the broomsticks look like regular broomsticks in the film i mean they're not like over embellished or anything so i'm going to start with making a stick out of warbler thermoplastic making it a little bit curvy to give it some sort of anatomical shape. And then the bristles I will make out of this paper straw. I don't know if you remember, but a hundred years ago I made a skirt for my Moana doll using these things for decoration. I used the short pieces to make a skirt and then this long parts that are left i kept till now because you know even things that look completely useless at first can be super useful in the future at least this is how it works in doll making so now let's cut it into short pieces and then attach it to the stick Check out my beautiful broom! It looks super cute and it's even useful. So now let's paint it with acrylics. Okay, the broom is finished, the boots are finished, now I think it's time to style her hair. And this time we are going for a bunch of curls, because Sarah has curly hair in the movie. Well, sometimes it's less curly, sometimes it's more curly, but I'm going for a more curly option.
this is where I've ended up with her hair a couple of hours later. I don't know, she looks super cool, it looks really pretty. Now let's still attach false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and after this we'll put everything together and take a look at the end result pictures. So, and this is the result of my hard work this week. The second of the Sanderson sisters is ready for the flight. You know, I didn't really go for a portrait similarity today, rather for a cartoonish doll version of the character. But in the end, she ended up really looking like Sarah Sanderson and Sarah Jessica Parker at the same time. And she also has this kind of dark but flirtatious vibes in her. Very cool. I'm very happy with this doll, really happy seeing these pictures. My mom's outfit is just breathtaking, like always. All the details are super cute, really unbelievable. She's working right now on another outfit, this time for a character from the Encanto movie. So I'm really looking forward to getting it, but guys, it might take a little bit longer because of the post, so I cannot tell you exactly when that video will come out. I will keep you updated. I know many of you are really <laughs> looking forward to that video as well. So, and what do you think about this doll? I hope it wasn't too weird getting this makeover in February instead of October. But like this, I will be able to finish all the three sisters this year, and this is my goal. This is like my mini series for 2022. I've heard, by the way, that they're making a sequel of the Hocus Pocus movie, and they're planning to release it this fall, so let's hope it will not be as bad as the rest of the sequels in the world. If I was Sarah Jessica Parker, I would avoid sequels for a while, honestly, but we'll see, maybe it will be good. It was, by the way, a real challenge to photograph this doll flying on a broomstick, but I came up with some work in construction after suffering for a while, so it looks really cool. So, and now let's discuss this doll in the comments. I really hope you liked it this time. And this doll is available right now for sale on eBay for three days, so please check it out if you are interested. So, and that was it. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please, guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, normally next week Friday. Love you guys. Bye.